Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you why disabling the ability to right-click on your WordPress website is mostly a useless idea, and I'm just gonna go through a demonstration for you as to how you can get around uh, the fact that your right-click capability is disabled. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. <clears throat> I have a WordPress website here, and right now we are able to right click on the background on images. We can copy this image right here. We can copy the image address, open it in a new tab right here. And we can see that image. We can uh, save the image to our computer. And there we go. We just kind of stole that image. But um, I think a lot of the times why people uh, disable the right click is to prevent people from doing just what I did, right? They think if you can't right click on an image, then you can't save it, which is not true. I'll show you what I mean by that. Same thing for copying text, right? We can copy this text and if I wanted to, I can go paste it in my own website. Um, so, I, I mean, I understand why people want to disable right click, but I just wanna show you that it's very easily um, circumvent it. You can easily get around it. So let's go ahead and do a demonstration here. Let's go into the WordPress admin dashboard and install a no right click plugin. And I don't know that one's better than the other. I'm just going to search for it. No right click, not no right Rick, no right click. And let's see what our options are here. Um, this one has 100,000, 10,000, 20,000. Let's pick this one. This one seems to be the most popular one. WordPress content copy prediction and no right click. So that is installed. Let's go ahead and activate it. And uh, let's see if there's any options down here. And they do have a premium feature. Uh, I don't know. Let's just see if it actually, if it actually works. So let's go to the website. I, yeah, I'm not able to right click. It says content is protected. Same thing for the images. Let's see if we can right click on the text. We can't even, we can't even left click on the text to copy it, to select it. Um, so, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. But let me just show you, it's real easy to get around this. Uh, if we go to view developer, developer tools, um, and in here, I'm using Google Chrome, okay? In here, I'm on the Network tab in Chrome DevTools. And if I just refresh the page, I can see every single asset show up on this website. Um, let's just filter this by images. And if I wanted to take this image right here, and we'll just make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Uh, 1200 by I don't know, 800. Okay, so let's say we want to take this image. Um, I can kind of see what's going on here. There it is. I found it. Um, it is located at this URL. So what I can do is either copy the URL or open it in a new tab. And there, I got that image. And now I can actually, because this is not uh, this is not WordPress, it's just a file on my WordPress website, I can save the image as. And now I just completely got around that. We'll save this to our desktop. There we go. Now we have that image on our desktop. So the same type of thing uh, for the text. So if we go to, um, you know, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. If we can go to the elements page here and see the raw HTML of the web page. And let's just go ahead and see if we can find this first paragraph here. While Django is great for quickly developing a website with Python. So you can see when you hover over this, the element that is uh, associated with that is selected. Um, so we're not seeing, so we see this div is associated with that. And then we kind of just work our way down the page to see if we can find the div associated with the text. So here, this div, this div, we're working our way down, getting smaller and smaller. Um, here, here. There we go, we found that first paragraph. Here, there's the text. While Django is great for quickly developing a website with Python, there are a few settings that you might that you must configure. Same thing for the next paragraph, same thing for the next paragraph. So what I can do in here is uh, right click, copy, copy the element. Um, I think you can copy this whole, this whole section here too. So we can copy, copy the element, open up, uh, let's say sublime text, 
a text editor, paste that in there, and we now have a copy of that WordPress page. And I mean, it, there is all the HTML tags, so it's a little bit more work, but you do have the, the content here itself. So um, just thought I'd do this demonstration for you and kind of tell you that there might be better options, right? So if you want to protect your images from being from copied, then maybe you want to put a watermark on it with your logo or a copyright symbol um, so that, you know, it's just kind of adding extra layers of work for people if they want to steal it. Uh, you can also put, kind of like I have an affiliate disclosure here, uh, a, a notice right below your images saying that this is protected by copyright and if you want to uh, use it, please contact me and maybe we can work something out. So something very open like that, that gives them the path forward to um, being maybe potentially able to use your images. But if that's not the case, then obviously don't do that. Um, something else, uh, you just got to remember that websites are public. Okay, so when you put something on the internet, it's public, it's available, there's a way to get at it. Um, if you don't want your content to be visible to other people to begin with, maybe you should install something like a password protecting plugin for your entire website so that somebody who doesn't have a password cannot even access that content to begin with. So just a couple options here uh, as far as that's concerned. I hope this demonstration was valuable to you to show you that there are ways around uh, disabling right-click plugins for WordPress. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Check out some of my other WordPress videos over here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.